So I thought I got my hands on the king of Ethereum Classic mining when I got this Jazminer X4 One U. Well, I was sadly mistaken when this bad boy hit the market. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, if you're watching this on September 14th, today is the Ethereum merge. It is actually gonna be happening sometime late today or super early in the morning, like one or 2 a.m. Keep an eye out on some of the websites to figure out exactly when it's gonna be. But the Ethereum merge is here. If you're watching in the future, you're probably laughing at me right now because of the fact of all the predictions, thoughts, feelings, that I think are going to occur over the next few weeks, but bear with me in today's video. So as the title says, I truly do believe that graphics cards are really gonna have a hard time mining Ethereum Classic. Now, it is not that they won't be able to do it, it's not that they won't be capable of doing it, I'm purely saying this from the fact that we have yet to see, now if you're watching this after the Ethereum merge hits, everything I'm saying could be entirely wrong, bear with me, all predictions here. But based off of everything that we have seen, we have seen that there are going to be a boatload of Ethereum ASICs shifting over to Ethereum Classic. And why is that? Well, a few reasons. One, the algorithm is super, super similar, almost identical. In addition to that, overclock settings for any of these ASIC miners are the same. You're going uh, from one algorithm to another and it's super similar. In addition to that, your heat management is the same. You're actually putting out the exact same type of heat there. Uh, so any facilities that have their heat set up in order to exhaust X amount of heat based off of X amount of watts, it's all gonna stay the same. And then finally, power consumption. Going from mining Ethereum to Ethereum Classic is going to use the exact same power output. So it's gonna be super easy for a lot of these Ethereum ASIC miners to just shift over to Ethereum Classic. And you might be going, okay, that's fine, but my GPU's done pretty well so far on Ethereum Classic, why is that an issue? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few different Ethereum Classic ASIC miners. And a few of them, we have our like iPolos, and we have some jazz miners. And then that beast of a jazz miner that I'm gonna show you guys, which is the brand new jazz miner X4Q. I'll show that to you. That thing is ridiculous. I haven't even plugged it in yet. So we're gonna go ahead and experience it and set it up together. But at the very tail end of this video, we're going to take those units talking about their hash rate and their watts. And then we're gonna look at some graphics cards. And we're gonna take a look at, well, what do those graphics cards do for hash rate and watts? And let's talk about efficiency through this whole thing. Because at the end of the day, after the Ethereum merge, efficiency is king. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the pieces of equipment that I have to show you today. Okay, miners, so I wanted to show you some of the mini ASIC and ASIC miners out there that uh, we'll be competing against as GPU miners mining Ethereum Classic. Now, these are some of more your consumer level ones. These aren't your full-blown ASICs that we're gonna run into, but I wanted to give you guys some details. So let's talk about some hash rates and some watts. So you guys have probably seen a whole bunch of these guys on all different YouTubers' channels, uh, but I thought I'd go through the roster here and talk a little bit about each one, and then we'll look at actually the efficiency numbers versus graphics cards at the end. So the Apollo V1 Mini Classic Wi-Fi, this guy right here does 130 mega hash at only 104 watts. The gold one here is the Apollo V1 Mini Wi-Fi, which does 300 mega hash at only 240 watts. I know, all these names are like identical. Then we have the Apollo V1 Mini Classic Plus Wi-Fi, uh, and this is 280 mega hash at only 270 watts. And finally, this guy here, crazy here, Ipolo V1 Mini SE, 220 mega hash at only 116 watts. So first off, these are very similar to like your gold shell miners and such, but these are for Ethereum Classic only. Um, and uh, these are gonna be hard to beat when it comes to graphics cards. But now let's talk about this guy. So you guys have seen this in my previous videos. We've gone ahead and opened these up, seen what's inside. We've checked out their hash rates. If you guys want more details on that, I'll put links in the upper right-hand corner as well as down below. This here is the Jazminer X41U. And on Ethereum Classic, it does over 540 mega hash 
at only 240 watts. That's ridiculous. And I used to think this was the king of Ethereum Classic mining. And then this showed up at our door here. Look at this thing. Guys, this is the brand new Jazzminer X4Q, uh, as we can see right here. And this does one giga hash at a total of 480 watts. What the hell, right? Like, this is crazy. I mean, it literally looks like a desktop computer tower. That's exactly what it looks like. And actually, on that note, let's scoot some things aside and let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of this guy uh, before we go ahead and open it up. So this is the front side of it. it has the IP report button, fault, normal, and reset. Very similar with most of your ASIC miners. Take a look at this intake in the front. And I mean, you can see, take a look at that. Those are actually two different hash boards, which I, my guess is these are very similar to the X41U hash boards that we've seen. I've, I've showed those off in previous videos. But man, look at the size of those heat sinks in there. So on the sides, you have Jazz Miner, and then on the back side here, we have two massive fans here. And I can't quite see, I was trying to see if I could see what the CFM is on the fans, but we have two fans here. We have a TF card slot, an ethernet port, and then we just have our power supply, which uses that uh, 200, or I'm sorry, 480 watts, and that's it. It's got a handle here on the front. I do have two handles to install on the front. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, handle on the back, two handles on the front, one here and one on the bottom. So you could slot this right into a server case, uh, which would be really nice if you're interested in like a server rack and such. Haven't installed those yet, but I will be installing those directly after this video. So let's lay this down and open it up. Okay, moment of truth. We had a few screws on the front, one on each side, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead here. Ooh, it literally just opens like a desktop computer case. This is crazy. All right, so what are we looking at here? Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, this is like completely self-enclosed. <laughs> this is pretty much like an ASIC, like a traditional ASIC miner, just like inside of a desktop computer case. And then look, you have like your separate power supply. <laughs> Holy cow, that's gnarly, look at that. I mean, seriously, it literally, <laughs> yeah, look, here's your intake side. So this was totally looks like it was designed entirely off a of traditional ASIC. It's actually what it looks like. I mean, look, you got your fans on the back with your exhaust, you got your intakes coming through. Look, here's your hash boards here. That's exactly how this is designed. Oh my word, I did not expect it to look exactly like this inside. Look, here's your board on the front for all your LED lights and uh, your IP report. It goes into the motherboard here, um, which you have in here. Here's your power supply which looks like a dirt, it looks exactly like what you would get off of like a traditional Bitcoin ASIC miner. Um, and then here is our connections from the actual hash board. Here's one into the motherboard and there's two and that's it. There's not much to this, um, but it's really funny. Like just like seeing it, I don't know what I really expected, but it is nice and self-enclosed. So you can see like everything down here with the hash boards is enclosed and isn't gonna affect the rest of the case here. Same thing with the power supply. And then on the back side, you just have everything exhausted out the rear. Okay, so let me get this put back together. Uh, and I actually haven't even configured this yet. So I'm gonna put it back together, get it hashing. The Jazzminer uh, GUI website is very easy and simple to use. Get it hashing so that we can confirm the hash rate and then also the watts. Um, and then uh, I do wanna jump over to the computer and I wanna compare all those mini ASIC miners that we had on the table, including this one, on their hash rate, on their watts and on their efficiency. And then let's compare it to some of our favorite 30 series graphics cards. All right, guys, so it's been a few minutes. I'm actually like sweating a little bit, just been running all over the place. Um, I wanted to get my equipment back and plugged in, you know, all the time that it's down, it's lost profit. So you guys know exactly how that is. So I got my other iPolos all up and running. I got my Jazz Miner back out in the garage, the X41U, and, and then I have the X4Q set up down here in my mining room uh, for some testing. So if all of a sudden we're hanging out here chatting and you hear it ramp up, that's what you're hearing. So I have it up here in front of me. The dashboard is exactly the same as you guys have seen a million times on other YouTuber channels, as well as my channel here uh, when we went through and set this up. So just wanted to show you guys, we have it set up. We have it um, configured on to Ethermine right now. Ethereum Classic is what we have mining at the current moment, uh, which is great. 
Um, so yeah, nothing too, too crazy. Now, one thing you have to make sure you do is down here, we're not doing Ethereum, we're doing Ethereum Classic. So we need to change it to Ethereum Classic. And then also from 200 to 225 megahertz, I always run it the most and best we can, um, which is great. So other than that, that's all we're seeing. It's gonna take some time. If you guys remember with some of these other ones out there, it takes 30 to 45 minutes to actually start hashing and seeing it on the pool. Uh, it just takes a while, but we'll let this run. We'll let it do its work. While this is in place, I wanna show you guys and huge shout out to Seb Heslo. Seb Heslo let me borrow his hash rate testing mega sheet is what he called it. This guy is a numbers guy and I love him because I couldn't do this. Like this is not my thing. So kudos to Seb. Thank you very much, guys. I will put a link down to his videos down below. He has done a full hash rate video on 25 different coins for every 30 series GPU almost. So uh, we have 3060, we have 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and a whole bunch of them out there. He has videos for all of them and like all the details. So we're gonna run through them at a high level and then we're gonna compare these to um, how GPUs stack up against some of the Ethereum Classic mini ASIC miners and miners that we saw tonight. So here is a 3060. Um, the green is actually what Seb has selected as the most efficient based off of his testing. So now I know you could get higher hash rate. This is about efficiency, guys. So 43.6 at 98 watts. Uh, if we jump over to the 3060 Ti, it's doing 60.3 at 136 watts. And this is all in Ethereum Classic. On the 3070, it's doing 62.4 mega hash at 128 watts. The 3080 is doing 101.6 mega hash at 238 watts. The 3080 Ti is doing 121 mega hash at 300 watts. You see what's going on here? Our hash rate is climbing a little bit, but our watts are going through the roof. And finally, the 3090, 124 mega hash at 323 watts. Okay guys, so I put this spreadsheet together to kind of simplify things down and show you guys why I believe that our graphics cards cannot compete with a lot of these uh, Ethereum Classic Mini ASIC and ASIC miners that we're gonna see popping up here any second now. So let's run through it. So at 3060, the efficiency, if you're curious on how efficiency is calculated, it is your hash rate divided by your watts. And efficiency is king right now, especially after the Ethereum merge. I guess we'll call this the age of altcoins. Well, trademark it here, bam, there we go. So this usually efficiency comes out even more, especially when our profits are low because we want the most efficient hardware possible so that we get the most revenue and profits available. So 3060.44 uh, efficiency, 3060 Ti.44, 3070.48, 3080 3080.42, 3080 Ti, 0.40, and the 3090, 38. 3090 is rough. But now let's start to look at those mini iPolos, those smaller units that we saw that are similar to the gold shells. It has a 1.25 efficiency. The Wi-Fi um, gold, the gold one that I had there, 1.25 as well. We move on to the mini classic plus 1.03. We move on to the mini SE 1.89. And then we go to the bigger units. The X4 1U, that was the skinnier unit that you guys have seen on my channel quite a few times, 2.25. And then we look at the X4 Q 2.16. These things are beast. So as you guys can see here, it's and this is a just a prediction I'm making based off the information we have today, which is the 13th of September, the day before the merge. And you guys are watching this the day of the merge. From what I am seeing, I don't, I personally am not gonna put any graphics cards on Ethereum Classic. It just doesn't make sense. Now, if we start to see a bunch of these other mini ASICs and ASICs on some of these other algorithms, I think you're gonna be in the same boat. But thankfully, as of today, things like Ergo, Flux, Ravencoin, Neoxa, we're thankfully protected a pretty decent amount against ASIC mining on those algorithms. So our GPUs are still safe there. Our GPUs are still kicking butt there, which is awesome. All right, guys, so let's talk about our Ethereum Classic hash rate giveaway. I know you guys have been antsy to hear about it. So 
Huge shout out to the team over at jinglemining.com. Go over there and check them out, guys. We are giving away the Jazzminer X4Q hash rate for one month. And what's that hash rate look like? That hash rate looks like one giga hash on Ethereum Classic. Insane. So how do you enter the giveaway? It's simple. So directly down below this video in the description and the first pinned comment is a link to the Hobbyist Miner Discord. Go over there and there is a dedicated channel called ETC Hash Rate Giveaway. Enter the channel and paste in your Ethereum Classic wallet address. And that's it. You're done. You're entered. And for the next two weeks, we'll collect all these addresses. And after two weeks, we will go ahead and select one of you guys to win one giga hash of Ethereum Classic hash rate. Once again, huge shout out to Jingle Mining. Go over and check them out, guys, if you're in the market for any types of ASIC or mini ASIC miners. All right, let's wrap this up. Okay, miners, well, that is going to go ahead and wrap things up for today's video. I appreciate you hanging with me. A lot of what I said today is predictions. I have no facts, I have no data behind this. This is all predictions based off of what I have learned with mining over the last two years. As I've said before, I'm still a newbie, I'm still learning. So if I made any mistakes or you don't believe what I'm saying and you have some more information to back it, please leave a comment down below. You guys are probably smarter than me, so please leave some details down there. I would love to learn from you. Now, based off of when you're watching this, the Ethereum merge is tonight. If you guys don't have anything better to do with your time other than watch your rigs and see what happens with Ethereum, tune in. I'll be doing a live stream. Should go live right around 11 p.m. Eastern, but it may range based off of when the Ethereum merges. I hope to go live and just have a beer and hang out with you guys and talk about the merge and watch a few Ethereum rigs during that time period to see exactly what happens when that block time flips over. If you guys want to link to that live stream, I will put it down below in the comments as well as in the description. So if you're watching this in the future and you want to see kind of what I do and what happens, feel free to go ahead and check it out. Well, guys, I appreciate you guys joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.